Greetings and salutations. I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood, and tonight I've got some quick tips on using Bridge, InDesign, and Photoshop. I like to call this Cubism Squared. Recently, my good friend Janine Smith posted a tutorial up on Tip Squirrel called Cubism, and in that tutorial, she showed you how to take Photoshop and more importantly, the paste into command and run a bunch of images across the face of a Rubik's Cube. As I looked through the tutorial, the first thing that struck me is there was no way. I was actually going to paste 27 times into individual squares and then resize them all one by one. Um, <laughs> I'm an engineer, I'm a tinkerer, and more importantly, uh, I want this cool tutorial done now. <laughs> so my friends joke that I'm impatient, but really I'm just goal-oriented. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this tutorial, flip it on its side, and show you how I can use Bridge, InDesign, Photoshop. This is YouTube. We've got 10 minutes. Let's get this knocked out. Here we go. I'm going to start by jumping over to InDesign. I'm going to create a new document. I'm going to make this document three inches square. Why three inches? Because the Photoshop document is that size. I'm going to make three pages. Why three pages? Because I have three faces to the cube. I'll go ahead and jump over to Bridge. And in Bridge, if you didn't know, you can take Bridge and make it into a panel. So I'm going to click the button that says Make Compact Mode. And now Bridge is a panel. I'll highlight my first nine images for the front face of my cube. I'm going to drag these over to InDesign. Once I get to InDesign, I'm going to do Command Shift or Control Shift, and I can grid place all of these images. I can do Command Option Shift C. That's going to fill the frames proportionally. I can do Command Option Shift E, and this is going to center all the images. Now I can move to page two. I'm going to grab my next nine images, shift and select, drag these over into InDesign. Once again, do command shift and I will grid place these. All right. Command option shift C, fill the frames proportionally. Now not all of the images need to be adjusted, so I'm going to do a quick selection of the images that I need to change. Get these centered the way that I want. All right. That looks good. Command shift E. All right, now everything's centered. I'm ready to move on to the third page. Clocks is ticking. Let's get the last nine images. Shift select. Drag these into InDesign. Once again, Command Shift or Control Shift on the PC, and I will grid place. All right, Command Option Shift C. Fill the frames proportionally. Once again, Command Shift E. Get everything centered. A couple quick adjustments. I'm going to take a quick look. I think actually all that's really good. So now I need to get these pages exported. We will go to File export. I'm going to change these to say cube page. I'm going to save these off as JPEG images. So I'll go ahead and hit save. Okay. I'm going to do all the pages, 300 dots per inch, export. Okay. Pretty soon they're going to pop up over in Bridge. There they are. So from Bridge, I'm going to bring this back up to full mode. I'm going to grab my three pages. And then from the toolbar, I will go, or from the menu, I'll go to Tools, Photoshop. I'm going to load these into Photoshop as layers. Takes a second while this running. This is just a quick batch process. I can run this right from Bridge. Very, very cool. Use it all the time. Jump over to Photoshop. Arrange the documents side by side. Grab my three layers, which are my three pages. Drag these over to my cube. There they are. I can go ahead and consolidate my views. Now I'm ready to work with my cube. Here's what I need to do. I'm going to hide the images. You don't need to see them. I'm going to duplicate the layer that she set up as the squares. That's Command J for jump the layer. All right, this is the layer that I'm going to create my faces on. So I'll start with my first image. I'm going to go ahead and Command click the layer. That selects the entire thing. I'm going to go ahead and Control C or Command C and copy it. Once I have it copied, I can deselect. I can hide that. I'm going to grab the squares copy layer and I'm going to run vanishing point from the filter menu. With vanishing point, what I need to do is have several planes. I'm going to need to draw these. So I'll go ahead and draw my three planes. Hey, I have a create planes command. And what I simply do is outline the faces on the cube. So here's the first face. I'll go ahead and grab my create planes command again. I'm going to do the second face. Hey, I'm trying to click this real fast. The clock's a ticking. Hey, I'll go ahead and do the last face. Hey, clock's a ticking. Here we go. Trying to beat the YouTube clock. 
All right, now I've got my plane. So I'm going to go ahead and do Command V or Control V. That's going to paste the picture that I copied. And here's what I do. I just simply drag it over the plane where I want it to appear. I want it to appear in this plane. There it is. And look at that. It's actually hey, in the proper perspective. I can transform this by pressing T. It gives me the free transform command. I will scale this to make it fit. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and drag this in place. Hey, there it is. Hey, once again, I'll just scale this up. Got to make it fit. Hold the shift key because I don't want it to distort. Hey, that looks pretty good. I'm just going to move this a little bit. Hey, I think that looks pretty good. And now I'll click OK. I've created the first side to my cube. All right, so the key thing is I'm doing all of the sides on the square copy layer. I'm going to turn on my next set of pictures. Again, command click the layer, so the whole thing selected. Command or control C to copy. I'm going to turn it off, deselect, grab squares, copy, and do vanishing point again. I already have my plane, so I can just command or control V. I'm going to go ahead, and once it pops into place, I'm going to drag this now to the top. I want this to appear on the top of the face. I'll go ahead and T, transform. Hold the shift key, scale this down, move it into place. Hey, okay, there it is. Like it there. Just need to scale it up a little bit. Again, I'll do shift to make sure it scales proportionally. Hey, okay, there's the next face of my cube. Looks good. Click OK. Grab the last picture. So here's the last picture. Again, command control click. Hey, get it loaded. Command control C and copy it. Hide it. Grab the squares. Copy. One last vanishing point. Hey, I'm going to go ahead and paste that in place with Command or Control V. Drag that into place. Hey, don't like that how that appeared. So I need to deselect and actually cancel this. Here's what happened. I forgot to deselect. All right, so let me go ahead and bring that up again. Command or Control click. Have that loaded. Now I can Command or Control C copy, hide it, go to squares copy. I know the clock's ticking. All right, got to go ahead and bring up the last. I did it again. <laughs> I need to remember to deselect. So deselect, here we go. And then I can bring up the vanishing point. Under the gun, under the gun, paste. Here we go. Drag that into the last plane. There it is. All right, I'm going to go ahead and resize this T for free transform. I'll go ahead and shrink this down, move it into place. Clock's ticking, trying to get this done. We're under the wire. Here we go. There it is. Just kind of move that around. I think that's good enough. Hey, okay, it's going to be tight. And I'll go ahead and click OK. All right, now at this point I have the cube. Here's what you do. The trick to this, I'm going to create a clipping group between the square, the squares copy and the squares. So right here in the layers panel, I just hold the Alt key. I'll go right in between the two layers and I'll create a clipping group. There's your Rubik's cube. All I have to do is select the squares layer and I can add that glow because I made it a layer style ahead of time. Boom, there you are. I'm AJ Wood. This has been a quick tutorial. Peace. I'm out of here.